the Hyperion, regarded by most as the greatest dungeon weapon of all time. Everyone who can afford one is using one, and everyone is getting great results. For its 600 million coin price tag, you'd personally expect it to be the best weapon too. Its ability is simple. You right click to teleport 12 blocks forward and give yourself your strength as a shield and deal hundreds of thousands of damage to everything nearby. Yeah, really simple ability. Outside of dungeons, the sword is, uh, it's also something. Obviously, the one thing that makes the sword so powerful is its lack of a cooldown, and such a low cooldown demands such a huge mana pool. What better way to get a huge mana pool than with the sheep pet? Just kidding, the sheep barely adds anything to your mana pool outside of dungeons, but what it does do is increase your ability damage. In yet another unannounced change, the sheep pet now increases your ability damage percentage instead of just increasing it by a flat number. You can effectively double your mana pool by applying ultimate wise 5 and then squeeze out just a little bit more with wisdom 5 and big brain 5. And just to put the burning cherry on top of the overkill cake, a full set of storm armor and fully bizarre talismans for way more intelligence to push your damage and mana even more. Once you have all of this together, the set can be used for just about anything. Let me hold your hand and take you on a tour of what this beast is capable of outside of dungeons. You wanna see what it does to dragons? Stone protectors. The one thing it isn't going to do is Vens, but that's because dogs are stronger than Greek Titans. The great thing about the Hyperion is that it also does ghost damage. Ghost damage is damage, but it's not. It increases your damage counter which matters to you because that's what you're getting rewarded from, but it actually deals no damage whatsoever to dragons, meaning you can get crazy high numbers because everyone who can afford a Hyperion is regularly using it to do dragons, clearly. Like, what else are they going to use it for? Can you take it a step further? Uh, yeah, you can always take it a step further. A minus relic on your sheep pet will slightly reduce your mana, but you get 10% more ability damage, which is just 10% more damage in general. Then, you put Chimera 5 on your sword to get even more ability damage because one-shotting everything was just not enough for you apparently. You combobulate everything because you have 600 million coins lying around, get enchanting 60, come on just give me 2 weeks. Use sharp 7 instead of smite 7 for 35% more damage, kinda? and then give it to someone with combat 50 and foraging 50. You do all that and you'll melt everything instantly. Twice. Because you're already melting everything. It's just really good. I kinda wish I could've done all that, but I really lacked the funding to do so, since I blew all the coins you guys gave me in streams for the setup I'm already using. But hey, I'm not complaining. 
And well, in my opinion, I don't think this is way too overpowered, because, I mean, you're paying like a billion coins to be able to do this, and no, I don't think it's going to get nerfed. If you enjoy seeing the overpowered stuff, then make sure to watch this video right here, where I melt slayers with a Midas staff, and let me know in the comments if you do enjoy this kind of non-tutorial entertaining videos. See ya!